This is a quick video showing you how you can actually chain multiple LLM requests together. So we've got our from item getter. We also import chat open AI, chat prompt template, and a string output parser. Now we have two prompts that we're setting up. Firstly, we have the what is the city person is from, and we also have the what is the country, uh, what country is the city, city in responding language. We set up our LLM model, which in this case is a chat open AI. We then have the first chain, which is prompt one, pipe model, pipe string output parser. And then that gets associated with a key inside of chain two. So you can see the result of chain one will be under the city key, right? And then the language we're getting from the item getter. That will then get piped into prompt two. So that's how we're getting this city in curly braces it says it's from our first chain that you can see here. That then gets piped into the model, which then also gets piped into a string output parser. So let's do the invoke on the second chain, which we'll use the first chain. So we invoke with a person and then the language in Spanish. And then what you'll see is we're basically saying, what is the city person? So that'll be what is the city Obama is from? And then we're basically, when we get the city, we're then asking what country is the city in, and then we're asking it to respond in Spanish. So this is an example of where you have two, more than one LLM request. You've got a chain here, and you've got a chain here, and you're using the output of chain one and assigning it to a key of city, which will then be used in the prompt template prompt two. So the best way that I would recommend thinking about this is always working backwards. Like where is the last prompt? Like what kind of keys does it require? Oh, okay, it requires a city key. Oh, that comes from this prompt chain. The other interesting thing to be thinking about is you can't just do prompt pipe model because you can't pass a, a you know an open AI or an L, a lang chain class in to the next uh, as a prompt variable uh, you know as a prompt value so what you really need to do is make sure that you use the string output passes so the output of chain one gets associated with a string which can then be injected into the prompt template for prompt two cool so that was a little bit on making some chains